Hey everyone, Jag Tiger 93 here with another Quake map. This one is called Dave's Graves from 1996. Uh, the map already started me off with these two scrags I gotta take out. Interesting start. I really hate when maps do that. Pretty common with older ones actually. They'll start you right where there's enemies. Oh, ogre. Here we go. Another ogre. Not gonna bother the other ogre. I'm running low on shells. Uh, it's a groundskeeper shack or a chapel. Looks like we're in a boneyard. Quad damage boomstick. Nice. I better be careful with my shells. Actually, I want to make them last. So I can probably run right by the uh, the zombies. Fiend, better get to him before my quad damage wears off. Come on. Gotcha. Can I go down here? Kinda. Okay. Elevator does not want to cooperate. I really hate that in video games. Come on. There we go. Alright, looks like I got a moment to talk now. Um, first impressions. Uh, interesting old school map. Um, I like the idea of that boneyard up top with the uh, graves that we saw. Uh, the crucifix style type skull graves, that was really neat. And then of course having the zombies right there. Um, I probably would have done that a little differently. But... Uh, flames are here, but no torch. Okay, whatever. Um, some interesting quirks here, but again, this is an early map, so... We can forgive it. Very dark, too. I see a shambler. And there's a bunch of uh, soldiers here. I see a portal. So I'm not going to mess with the shambler, even though there's a, uh, a thunderbolt there. And that's tempting, but I don't want to piss off the shambler, because even with the thunderbolt, I get it. The shambler will probably drain me. I have no armor. So what I'm going to do is just try to sprint right for the portal. There we go. Good. Alright, now this looks like the interior of a chapel. Um, interesting thing about a lot of these um, realism style old Quake maps, when they try to do furniture, they... Oop. Come on. Okay, like I was saying, uh, what the fuck? There we go. You want some too, huh? Alright. God damn! I can't get a word in at all. Anyone else? Jesus. Anyway, like I was saying, I see a soldier over there, whatever. Um, like I was saying, these old uh, Quake maps, when they try to do furniture, a lot of times the sizing is off, and they end up making them look like they're sized for giants. So, I do appreciate the effort to go for a realism effect, though, with this map. Oh, God damn it. Thirty-six enemies here. Feels like more, actually. Um, it just feels like we're constantly having to fight and fight and fight, which isn't really bad, I suppose. Super nail gun, nice. Uh, no secrets here, apparently, so I'm not gonna bother. Shame. I didn't go in the confessionals, actually. Let's see what's in the confessionals. bunch of enemies. Alright, how about this one? Sounds like zombies. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with them unless I absolutely have to. Uh, let's go here. Probably need a key. Nope. Oh, that's the door to the uh, church or whatever. Uh, I would not... Okay, whatever. Oops. And a bunch of grunts facing the other way. And we go bowling. That's a strike, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Armor. Okay, good. Now I'm feeling a bit better. Alright. Um, only got three rockets and there's zombies that way. So let's head this way first. 
Even though it doesn't look like you can get back up here. Yeah, I don't know why... Uh, unfortunately, the author didn't really... I don't think they put too much thought in enemy placement. Oh. They just seem just kind of mixed together. Oh, and there's that chamber. I wonder if it's the same chamber we saw earlier. Just kind of walking back. Okay. Alright, gotta run like hell. Actually, I might be able to take him down. No, I'm not. I might be able to... I actually got the armor. I might be okay here. I can just keep baiting. Yep, there we go. Nice. Yep, that was the same shambler we saw earlier. Groovy. Unfortunately, that uh, that confessional that we took seemed like a needless detour, so it looks like we do have to go this way. I think. I'm hearing zombies. I'm not seeing zombies. Alright, what? I don't get it. Hmm. Go. That's the front door. We went upstairs. There was grunts. Anything else? Any keys? Any switches? I don't know what that is. Up by the altar there. It like, looks like a huge door? Is it? No. Hmm. When in doubt, hit stuff. That's what you do in Quake. Uh, that's kind of annoying. I guess we head back out here. Oh, more grunts. And those are those two songs I was talking about. Nice, uh, really cool idea. Over here are the zombie, the zombies. And I don't have the explosives to deal with them. But one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them there. Um. So it'd be those six and one more enemy somewhere in the map. And that's all the enemies. Hmm. I always like that skybox. Um it's the one from uh, the second mission E1 M2 in Quake. First time you see that purplish skybox, it always looks really cool. Maybe I go you know, that's the portal. I don't know what... I use my shotgun as a flashlight. Always hate doing that. This was the opening we came from. That was the Shambler. Okay. Let's go back here. Hmm. And what's the point of this area? I'm guessing the uh, zombie I'm hearing is the seventh enemy. Floating torch, okay. Kind of sloppy. that or not. I don't remember them being lit up like that. Alright, I'm gonna go out through the church one more time and if I can't figure out where to go, I'm gonna just uh just no clip around and see if I can figure it out. Alright. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna put on no clip. I don't usually cheat, but I seriously got no idea where to go, so let's have a look at this map. Um, I, unfortunately, with how the map, what we've seen so far, I don't have the most confidence in the author that the map is actually has an end, an exit. Sometimes it happens. Not usually, but sometimes it does happen. Okay, what am I hearing here? Alright, there's a gap. Oh, looks like this wall does... No, no, no it doesn't. I guess, oh, the zombies I'm hearing are on the other side of the wall. Yep, there they are. Okay, then what the hell? Darndest thing. I really do not see any kind of exit or any idea where to go right now. Oh! No, that's the uh, yard. Maybe under here? No. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I might have to end this review. Um, yeah. That is Dave's Graves. I don't think there's an exit here. That's kind of lame. Um, hmm. Well, you're more than welcome to uh, play this one, guys, and try it. You know, maybe I missed something. Maybe you can figure it out. Uh, I really doubt it. For a second, I thought I saw something. I, I noticed this block texture here is kind of indented. I thought that might have been a switch, but I'm not seeing anything move or open. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's the um, I think that's the map. So uh, I'm just going to cut to a. Uh, Another quick map here. Um, I'm gonna give this one, unfortunately, a uh, one out of ten because I don't think it's finished. Um, some neat ideas, but not really fully. For ah, one out of ten might be harsh. It did show some promise. I'll, I'll say two out of ten. Two out of ten. Um, showed some neat ideas. Like I like that the um, the burning crosses thing at the front of the church is kind of a neat idea. Uh, the graves outside was a nice idea going for a realism map shut up um just some really sloppy work we saw torches with no torch just a light um yeah so yeah two out of ten and i'll cut to another one see you guys in a second everyone, welcome back. Jag Tagger is here again with another uh, quick map. Hopefully this one will be a bit better. This one, oh, screw you. Ah! This one is called The Underworld. Uh, it was made in January 1997, another old school map, but uh, the ratings for it were a bit higher than the last one that we just played, the uh, Dave's Graves. Um, hopefully this one is indeed better, and so far I'm liking it. Um, no, actually, oh, god damn it. Okay, that was kind of annoying. Just when I, I was praising the map, I'm like, hey, this looks pretty good. I get crushed by the elevator. Awesome. Alright. It's kind of an awkward room there. I need the silver key card. You know, funny... Oh. You know, I know that Quake 1 and Quake 2 are not... I... Oh shit. Okay. Like I was saying, I know that Quake 1 and Quake 2 are not connected canonically together. Um, 
However, I didn't know that when I was younger. So I always thought Quake 2 was a prequel to Quake 1, uh, actually, because in Quake 1 you usually start off in a military-themed base uh, in a futuristic setting and whatnot, and fighting off grunts. And in Quake 2, the, most of the, or really all the game is in a, is in a uh, techno-based uh, type environment, futuristic setting. So I always thought Quake 2 as an expanded version of the first couple levels in the first, you know, in the episodes of Quake those base levels. I turned it to like a full game. And then Quake 1 is actually the sequel because then the protagonist, uh, Bitterman? Butterman? I don't really remember off the top of my head. But the protagonist then finds the slipgates to, you know, the Lovecraftian uh, worlds and the, uh, the medieval uh, palaces and other things. Neat elevator. Oh, a nail gun. Alright, I'll grab that. Slip the X tonight. I guess that's the exit. I saw a whim, I started shooting the fiend, I didn't realize that was a puzzle. puzzle um, in this room uh, and it kind of fits you know you enter this room you see these experiments being conducted up with these fiends obviously you want to destroy the research and the experiments that are being done so to advance you first have to kill all the experiments the fiends uh, really cool idea so major credit to the author there for that hmm. Two secrets in this map, but so far I haven't found any. So I should probably keep my eyes peeled. I was hoping there'd be a secret underneath there. Nope. Ah! Was that the second time I hit my head from an elevator? Doggos. Alright, more grunts. Ah, this one. All right. Um, so far, okay, this area looks pretty familiar. It's from you know, very reminiscent of E1 M1 from Quake. Obviously, well, the game we're playing, but. I uh, really love the exterior of that base there. That looks really cool. Um, I also really enjoy the thought that the author put into the type of enemies that are here. So we're seeing a lot of dogs and grunts and soldiers. Um, so far I have not seen, I think like the only non, you know, base type enemy that we've seen so far were the fiends and those were, and they were in cages. So. Yeah, a lot of thought put into flavor here, a lot of thought put into uh, story. Um, I don't, yeah, really impressed. Um, I could go up there, but I'm really tempted to take a dip. So let's hop in the water here and see what goodies we can find. Oh, all right then. Oh, 
Okay, so we got uh, some health and whatever. Not really the most necessary detour, but I, I just had to know. Did not bang my head that time. Good. Alright. We don't have the key card for that, so let's go up. Hidden cave is open. I'm guessing it's below there. Or I could be wrong, actually. I'm not seeing anything. Oh! I think I have an idea where that hidden cave is now. Alright. So that slip key is definitely... Teleport back a ways. You're just up here. Okay. Yeah, I think the hidden cave is up over here. Yep. Alright, nice. That's our gold key card for the door there. First, let's hop up here and grab that health. Nice. Alright. There's our slip gate out of there. I'm hearing some more uh, soldiers. Yeah, they're up there. And yeah, that's the exit. Distribution for profit prohibited. Groovy. Alright, nice. Um, didn't find the secrets, but that was a pretty good map. I'm going to give that one a solid 7 out of 10. It was pretty great. Uh, pretty fun to play through. A lot of thought put into the theme. Um, I usually don't like platforming, but that platforming section at the end was pretty simple. I'm willing to bet that that teleporter underneath the platforms was probably to the beginning of the map. Um, really well done. It was a nice palette cleanser from that first map that we played, which, again, wasn't bad, just incomplete. But, um, yeah, thank you all for watching. This is Jagtagger93 signing out. Have a good one.